For the first time in almost a year of quarantine, the Arnaudos finally went on vacation. Hooray! We went for a couple of days camping in Kentucky and then we went for a couple of days uh, to visit Louvo, a city that I like very much. And it was there in the Museum of Arts and Crafts in downtown Louvo that I found this puzzle. Incidentally, it was on sale. Incidentally, all puzzles there are on sale. So in case you happen to be around there, that's, uh, that's a little suggestion they give you. Maybe you want to take a look. And this puzzle looked pretty cute, decidedly different from any other puzzle that I had been doing. And also I was working on a really hard puzzle, the one about Harriet Tubman, maybe you saw my entry for that one. And so I wanted something lighter, colorful, simple and less demanding. This is a 500 piece puzzle from a publisher that I did not know area where about uh, well a pattern, it's simply called pattern puzzle, not super exciting that way designed by Dusen Dusen, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know this artist or group of artists but I know that this artist or group of artists made a design that then became a 500 piece puzzle that gave me a nice intermission between very challenging sections and session of solving the Harriet Tubman puzzle very different, very unique. Uh, I've just never solved a puzzle like this. I've solved abstract puzzles before, but not quite puzzles with, with this kind of feel, because on one hand you have areas that are just solid, solid uh, color. And sometimes you have puzzles where it looks like it's solid, but you're looking at a single piece and you can see nuances, differences, and that helps a little bit. Not here, once you sort, the pieces that are just one color, that is it, that's the color. And then however you have a lot of edges in which different shapes intersect. So uh, it has a different look but it also has a different feel and as from the point of view of the processes it just feels different to solve. So the way I did it, I did actually sort out all of the colors, removing the solid colors first, setting them aside and then I started, and then I selected a color, I believe the first one was dark green, and I looked for all the non-solid dark green pieces that contained that. So basically all the pieces that were partially of that kind. And then basically solved the edges of, of that. Well, actually first I solved the edges of the puzzle. Once when you get to attacking the main body of the puzzle, it was the edges of the solid dark green, and really, uh, Really once you start looking at the image close enough, every piece that you pick up you can tell, okay, it'll go there because there aren't many other parts where it intersects it intersects a certain shape in a certain color where that color is adjacent to that other color and so on and so forth. So I reconstructed the edges of the dark green and then at that point I was able to fit the solid color based on your shape and then I repeated for the next color which I believe was lime and then the next one which I believe was black and then the kind of like creamish white and so on and so forth until the puzzle was solved. So uh, it's pretty nice, there's a little bit of glare but not, not too much. Uh, the pieces are definitely larger than your average uh, puzzle pieces. You can probably tell and also you can tell even better when we compare it with a piece of this other puzzle that I've been solving and I will be solving for a lot longer which is the uh, Kodak 5000, uh, 50,000 piece puzzle. So definitely larger so in case you're planning to solve this puzzle together with, uh, with a young solver or with a senior citizen those would be good too. The fit is okay, it's not super great. As you can see, I could lift up a section of the puzzle and without, without it falling apart too much, but it would fall apart. So when you're moving sections of the puzzle around, you gotta be careful, they may fall apart. But again, not too much. It's somewhere in you know, the middle of the road. The pieces also are not, uh, are not too thin. So production, production wise, good quality overall, 500 piece puzzle, definitely a puzzle that you can solve in an evening if you are somewhat committed, experienced puzzlers, puzzler, and again, and that's, that's kind of the fun, you take a break from bigger projects and you have a puzzle that looks very different 
refreshingly different and definitely nice and pleasant.